it's Daily Mwad. Look, in our never-ending shift of paradigm chasing model, the idea here is that we think you need to be able to perform basic maintenance on yourself. And one of the ways that you need to do that is that when something gets hot, you need to know how to put the flames out and get those tissues turned around. And sometimes that's just about desensitization. We need to basically desensitize the tissue, reperfuse it, get it sliding. And one of the easiest ways to do that is with coffee. No, one of the easiest ways to do that is with a very old, very simple technique called gua sha, or scraping or tooling. Now in the United States we've called it instrumented assisted soft tissue mobilization, which is a fancy way of saying, hey, that's what actually rolling on a foam roller, instrumented assisted soft tissue mobilization, right? But um, notice here I've got a spoon, this could be a spatula, this is the leopard claw that we made, um, it combines a lot of other, the, the tools that we like. Um, what we want to do today is we're going to scrape the crap out of our forearms. Now, establish some basic rules. This is one of the first times we've done this on the MWOD, but I uh, want you to be able to see and feel what normal tissue feels like. So normal on the forearms, or anybody should feel like layers of warm silk sliding over steel springs, right? If it feels like glass and sand caught underneath uh, cellophane paper, that's bad. And that's what my forearms feel like. So what we've got here is if I have a spoon or a spatula, that'll work. If I've got a fancier tool, that's great. But I want to understand that what we're going to basically do is we're going to sort of wake up an area we're going to scrape and just desensitize a little bit. And this is a great way. Something's in pain. And notice what's happening here, Dave, is that as I, even as I pull lightly, I'm starting to push and pull the fascia around a ton. So I get a lot of motion in the fascia. See how it pulls all the way down into my, my hand here? Even as I'm just kind of tweaking a little bit, just going back and forth, I'm basically taking that entire fascial sheath and starting to desensitize it, which is one of the sort of drivers of simple myofascial pain mechanisms. So we can get some input. It does feel good, right? So we can get some input just by kind of scanning on this thing and desensitizing. We teach this at all our one or two courses at a much higher level. So basically what we're trying to do is take this beveled edge or whatever edge we've got, we're going to hold it at a 45 degree angle and when we get into this we're going to start to scrape up, I switch it the other direction and I scrape down. Now what I'm going to do is you're going to see that the areas I've just started to begin to touch become very red very fast. And what's happening is we're bringing a lot of blood flow to an area. So when I have a hot spot or a tendon coming in or a little ligament issue, one of the things I can do is to get the garbage out and bring the groceries back in. So I'm rehydrating this area, reperfusing this area, and that's part of the mechanism for desensitizing and reperfusing while simultaneously restoring these sliding surfaces. So what I've got here is this is just a little lotion. This is just a little foam we like because it uh, disappears, it's self-cleaning, it was uh, the military designed it for their soldiers in the field, but it, anything will work, even just a little lotion, just helps to get a little slide. Now what you're going to find is that as I do this, I don't, I don't know if you can hear this, but it sounds awful. And my forearms, because particularly of all the gripping I do, more, I don't know, as much as any other athlete, plus the paddling, means that my forearms smoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work up a little bit. We're going to put a few minutes on the clock and I'm going to scrape. Now the rule here is that if I have a blood clot disorder, that may be a problem, right? Um, I'm on blood thinners, that may be a problem. I have really thin skin, like I'm an elderly person who has really, really thin, bruisable skin, right? Maybe I'm not going to do this. Or I'm going to get a dose and get a response. You know, when you start to get, if you get little blood vessels that bursting, you'll get these little petechiae, the little red spots. That means you've just treated too much in that area, right? You've already sort of gone into the capillary bed there and woken it up, so move on. So the idea here is, you know, I've got a little spot here that feels terrible, and I'm going to scrape on this spot until it starts to smooth out a little bit. Now I'm not being superficial, I'm going a little bit slower, I'm getting a little bit deeper in there, it feels gr grindy, and then it's, all of a sudden it starts to smooth out a little bit. Look, I can add a little motion with my hand going the other direction. When we have people have a common problem called de Quervain's tenosynovitis, is it's a tendon sheath problem around the thumb here, and the test for it is this th test called the Finkelstein test, and you make a thumb and you do this, and, and then people are like, ah! Right? And then if you resist that, ah, and it's a tendon problem. And if we have a tendon sheath problem, what's our mechanism to get blood flow back in there and restore the tendon sheath? This is a fantastic way of desensitizing all the way down. Right? So I can get in all the way up to the thumb, working up. And, uh, and I tell you, I'll tell you, I keep this out 
in front of the TV at home, and I just scraped the crap out of my forearms, and my forearms seem to take a lot of this. Now, idea is get a dose, get a response. You've got a lot of forearm to cover, so don't overwork an area. If it starts to feel like you've cooked it a little bit, guess what you've done? You've cooked it. So move on. So if it doesn't feel good to scrape, because you'll notice it kind of feels good, right? Yes. This is maybe the greatest, most relaxing MLOD ever, right? Like a, a deep scratch. Now, if you've got a forearm problem, right, tennis elbow, golf elbow, this is an easy way to improve the quality of those tissues. Voodoo flossing does that, but I can do the localized work, and using the tip or even the head of the spoon here, I can even go across the belly and get, do a little bit of fine work there, being a little bit more aggressive. So I don't always have to go up and down. I can go side to side and use this kind of tongue depressor side about coming in. Oh, right there, clunk, clunk, clunk. And I can really desensitize, reperfuse, reslide, on a, like sort of a scalpel level problem. So, how long have we been going, Dave, on this side? It's 6.30. 6.30. Give me another 30 seconds here and then we'll switch over, right? This is my killer side, this little kind of gripper on my pinky, this flexor on this side. And I'm just going to get in here. Again, bevel side up like I'm shaving Parmesan cheese. Oh, Donna, Diaz, this one's for you right here. This is, this is it. This is the money. Get, getting those things to slide again and just free up easy way. We feel like you shouldn't have to pay someone for this. People are really good with this technique, but you need to know how to do this. Now, Juliet and I were in Seoul, and we were in a very traditional part of Korea in Seoul, and uh, there was just a, there was a, an elderly woman there who had a, a table full of bones and horns. That was all that was on the table. No prices, just a pile of bones, a pile of horns. And I walked up and I was like, Juliet, you know what these are? Gua tools. And I picked it up and started scraping and the woman's like, holy crap, this big white guy knows what these are about. And she literally grabs me, folds my head down and starts scraping my neck. Oh my you know, so it made me think is that if we can, let's go to the other side. If we can, you know, a woman on the street, a street vendor in Seoul can teach passerbys how to do this. I've never seen anyone go blind from this, Dave. Can't go blind. Now, this side we know is messed up on me, right? This is my janky wrist. As I do this, I get these little shocks, which means that I have little superficial nerves that are caught in the fascia here, and desensitizing that and perfusing that is going to make a big, big difference. So I'm not trying to zing myself or, or uh, light myself up. I'm just trying to get some blood flow in here, scrape an area, and again, I could desensitize first, kind of let it know I'm coming, and this is a fantastic way to deal with superficial pain. So you got something that's super tender, right? I can just do this really light scraping. And you can see it gets hot and red very fast. And then I can do my little kind of more magic in there. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Ah, that feels wonderful and awful at the same moment. Which is how Jesse Burdick would describe something. Right? This is the big pronator of the forearm here. Get it right in there and crush that. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. I'm just going to work up and be, you know, be clever. Think about tacking and flossing through here. Slide it up. Come into the forearm. This is, should be in your toolbox. If something hurts at the end of the long day of skiing or run, you can clean this up on any aspect, which just that it's easier to get into your forearms yourself. Any lotion will do. What you'll find is that well hydrated tissues don't need a lot of lotion, right? right? Tissues that are healthy, junky, nasty tissues need a little slide love. <laughs> that would be. That's right. And that's, that's what we like, we do like about this, this foam. But any, uh, any foam, any technique, any works. Well, I've been playing with this uh, new glide lotion called Rock On Clay. I really like that. It's a uh, natural clay. Feels great. Does it dry out? No. Makes my skin look fabulous, Max. Does it? Yeah. Uh -huh. You wouldn't know now that I'm 44. <laughs> all, all fabulous. Ah, that's it. Now you can see that I have worked pretty hard on some of these issues. My forearms are pretty bright red, but I don't have any of the telltale dots. Max, how you doing? Max doesn't either. So 
You know, some of it, this is going to be varying degrees. It doesn't say anything about your tissues, but if you are getting those sort of telltale dots, back off a little bit. Go work another a aspect of your, uh, of your forearm selves. If you are particularly sensitive to these little areas, if you're a golfer or a tennis player, man, get in here and clean those insertions up. Simple stuff. What's our total time, Dave? Oh, guess what? Simple. Don't overwork the tissues, get a dose, get a response. This is our, one of our first steps about putting the flames out and desensitizing and getting tissues to start going again. You can always find some area, some tool that could make a match in heaven. Don't be precious about it. Desensitize, scan a little bit, scrape up, scrape down, move on, put the flames out. See you guys tomorrow.